are excited to be celebrating FunFest like we get to do every year that we've been in existence because FunFest has been around longer than the Kingsport Chamber Zone. It is entering its 36th year and if you just think about the festival that is the size that it is, the caliber of festival that it is, the quality of the music that we get here, it's just amazing and it's in no small part to all of the community volunteers who come together to make this happen. One of the biggest honors that you can have as a community volunteer here is to be selected as chair mm. at FunFest. And the man standing beside of me, he is a humdinger. They couldn't have found a better <laughs> one this year to chair FunFest. And I can say that because I consider him such a good friend of mine. For one of my former law partners, a current partner at Hunter Smith Davis, Mike Latier. Mike, thanks for being on the show. Congratulations for being chair of FunFest this thank year. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I mean, is it, do you consider it an honor? I mean, what does it mean to you to be FunFest chair? Uh, yeah, it's it's definitely a real privilege to be chair of FunFest. Uh, FunFest, in my opinion, is one of the premier festivals in the country. And uh, there's so many great people, the council, the, the FunFest staff. And just as a matter of serendipity, uh, this year happens to be my law firm's 100th anniversary. Yeah. Yeah. And so that's pretty cool. Yeah. My law partner's really, really happy yeah. about that. Yeah. And uh, my family and I have been doing FunFest for 20 years. Mm -hmm. and. My kids love it, and they thought it was pretty cool that their dad was a chair. Nice. So, and, and just to give you some context, when he says that this is one of the premier festivals in the country, the man knows his festivals because you're a Mardi Gras connoisseur, right? I, I mean, you yes. you no. happen to, to visit Mardi Gras just about every year, right? Well, actually, I grew up in Louisiana. Right. That's my home, and so uh, we've been going back probably steady for the last seven years uh, to go to Mardi Gras, both in Lafayette, which is my wife's hometown, and uh, New Orleans. So, yeah, Mardi like Mardi Gras. Mardi Gras and this. That's right. So he knows his festivals. They, right. they picked an excellent chair. We're very excited to have you Thank as you. chair, Mike. So let's jump into this year's Fun Fest and talk about all the fun you have planned. You have a huge event planned this year, a, a great festival. Talk about some of the returning Fun Fest favorites first. Okay. Yeah. Well, of course, Fun Fest starts out on yeah. Friday the 15th, right. July the 15th, and that is Mardi Gras day <laughs> and being from Louisiana I said I got to bring some more of the Louisiana in right, the morning yeah. yeah. and so we're gonna amp up Mardi yeah. Gras a little bit and um, we'll have a great concert that night uh, with uh, a Zydeco band mm -hmm. uh, really exciting yeah. Zydeco band uh, it's CJ Chenier and the Red Hot yeah. Louisiana band mm -hmm. doesn't get more Zydeco than that no, <laughs> no it's authentic yeah uh, so that'll be a lot of fun opening day and then of course Saturday is the crazy eights race mm -hmm. and that's an internationally known race right. and even if you're not a runner uh, it's a great race to come to and just watch because you get to see world-class runners mm -hmm. running and yeah. that's really exciting mm -hmm. um, and then, of course, there's breakfast with the balloons that, that people really enjoy going out to in the morning. Yeah. And uh, also Maker's mm -hmm. Fair. Yeah. And if you haven't been to Maker's Fair, that's uh, a really neat thing to see where people come and actually show, you, show how they make things. And it's everything from crafts up to robotics, uh, 3D printers, uh, computers, just a whole mm -hmm. lot of things mm -hmm. that, are, that are being made. And then, of course, Saturday, is, uh, or starting Thursday, is the Twilight mm -hmm. Concert Series. Right. Sunset always always concert big. Series. So popular. Yeah. Well, and so one of the things that we love about FunFest is that you guys do a wonderful job each year of figuring out new events to add mm -hmm. to the mix. So what are some of the new events that we can look for this year? We've got some really exciting new events this year. Uh, one of the ones that we're really excited about is uh, the Beer Run of Kingsport is partnering with Stir Fry and Holston mm -hmm. Distributing and they're gonna have a beer tasting and a tapas kind of a meal. And mm -hmm. I think you've got those guys on your, yeah. your program. Sure, yes. so uh -huh. they'll, they'll elaborate more on that, but we're excited about that. Uh, the other thing that's kind of unique that, that I'm really looking forward to is that downtown on Saturday the 16th is gonna be a busker festival. And I had never heard the term Correct. busker, yes. uh, but those are actually street performers. And so we're going to have a bunch of street performers come in on Saturday all along Broad Street and Market Street, and they're going to be performing on the street. I think it's from 12 to 6 on Saturday. So you can just walk wow. along and oh, watch cool. these wow, that's really great. neat yeah. acts yeah. Yeah. Down, downtown. Yeah. Um, We've taped our show from the street before. Does that count? I don't. I'm I don't not sure. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> sure if he'd let us in on that. Yeah, so you're yeah. An official yeah. Buster, yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Um, and then, of course, uh, a nice event croquet at Allendale mm -hmm. on the Allendale lawn. Well, this year we're we're pumping it up a little bit. We're going to have a food truck rodeo, and so there's going to be food trucks lining the Allendale uh, the curve semicircle, there, yeah. the semicircle. Yeah. 
and they're going to be serving all kinds of neat food wow. while you yeah. can enjoy the Allendale mm -hmm. Croquet, and there will yeah. also be music from okay. uh, WQUT yeah. there. Oh. Okay. Music is always a big part of Fun Fest every year throughout the week, and of course the closing concert, Sunset Concert Series. So highlight some of the acts that we'll enjoy this year. Okay. Well, we start, yeah. uh, like I said, with uh, Friday with yeah. uh, the Zydeco right. Band. Uh, then Sunday, if you like Celtic music at uh, St. Peter the Apostle Church, they're going to have a Celtic concert. Mm -hmm. And so there's going to be some nice ensemble, penny whistles, yeah. flutes, all that kind yeah. of stuff. Yeah. Um, and then uh, on Thursday, the following Thursday, we start the concert series. We're going to have, um, as an opening act, David Crowder, mm -hmm. who's getting more and more popular as a Christian uh, performer. And then the Newsboys yeah. will be the right. main act. Right. And the Newsboys are really Huge. popular. Yeah. Yes. Huge, They've had, yeah. I think, 33 number one hits. Yeah. So that's going to be a sellout yeah. crowd there. And then Friday night, of course, we have the legendary Charlie Daniels. And I've heard of him. Yeah, mm -hmm. he's been around a little while. <laughs> uh, he'll pack them in. Yeah. Yes. And then Saturday night, uh, the, the final night of the concert series, uh, we will have, uh, as an opening act, American Authors. And even if you haven't heard the group, you've probably heard their number one song, Best Day of My Life, yeah. really mm -hmm. popular song. And then the main act is a really popular band called The Fray. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so I think we're going to have sellout yeah. crowds every, yeah. every evening. And the store is open now, so what are the hours? Uh, the hours are 8 to 6, or 9, nine to 6, mm -hmm. uh, Monday through Friday, and then 8 to 1 okay. on Saturday. Okay. So people can come down during those hours and get all their good yeah. Funfest gear. Yep. And Mike, they can also get a Funfest schedule at the Funfest store, right? Yeah. And then yep. where else can Absolutely. they find more information on Funfest? Well, Fest? you can hop yeah. on the web, yeah. uh, funfest.net, okay. and uh, Funfest actually has an app. So you can download an app, okay. you know, just go to your, your app store yeah. on your iPhone right. and download the Funfest okay. app. and. You'll be up to date and has all the schedules and everything. And, uh, and just for those safety concerns as well, the app also features the weather warnings that's anytime, yes. anytime uh -huh. that we, right. we run into that. We've so, had, yeah, we had a few of those over yes. the last couple of years. So that's really good. <laughs> it's yeah. good. Yeah. Well, Mike Latier with the law firm of Hunter Smith Davis and the chair of the 2016 Fun Fest. Thanks for being with us today and congratulations, congratulations. on, on what promises to be another yeah. fun and successful Fun Fest. Thank you for having me. <laughs> yeah, Enjoyed it. Thanks. We are going to feature one of those really cool events that Mike mentioned when we come back from your break right after this on your CV.